Hi and welcome to Warframe update 15.5. Again, I had this like technical glitch. I was recording away and I just moved everything I recorded to the recycling bin. <laughs> oh, I deleted the wrong things basically and I can't recover it because I don't just throw them in the recycling bin. I shift delete, which as long as you keep shift held when you press N, I will properly delete the files. And it's just easier to record again than to try and recover them. But has it been added to this yet? No, this still says 15.3. But 15.5 is here. It's called Messer Update. That is because of this guy. Though I have not decided whether that's male or female. So basically, we have a new Warframe. This is a gunslinger, and these things, that's an ability. They're not new weapons. That's part of his ability, or her ability. Can't figure out if it's male or female. Um, don't know which ability it is, though, which sucks, because I haven't really looked into it. The customization for the Lissette has finally been added. They did say when they brought the Lissette in they'd be doing this, but it's just taken a while for it to actually get implemented. And they do look nice, but it looks like it's only the top that gets coloured. And I do like the green one. The red one, to me, looks a bit overcrowded. It looks cool, but a bit overcrowded. And then there's four new weapons. We have dual arcwing... I don't know. Uh, pistol type things? They seem to do a nice bit of damage. Not a lot, but a nice. A new infested primary. It's a quanta weapon. Yes, it's another spinning weapon, but it's a full infested one, not a partly infested one. So that looks cool. A new beam secondary. It, was this the beam secondary? Yeah, there it is. Beam. <laughs> that is actually, that looks like a cool weapon. I Actually, when reading the notes to this while waiting for it to download the update, I saw the name of a weapon, which we'll get to in a second or two. Well, a minute or two. And I thought they'd brought in a weapon just for that. And I was like, no, if they've done that, I'm going to scream. But they haven't, because there it is. Like Gamma Core, that could be cool. And then there's a new melee weapon. This is the sword gun thing. You need the high noon mod to go with it, the stance mod. And I have been through every enemy I have scanned. To see if any of them drop it and I cannot find it which to me means one of the new enemies drops it yes there's five new enemies which I can't even show in here because I don't have them so while doing these fitting Helios here might be a good idea Helios you seem to be missing a wing there's somebody clipped my Helios it does definitely look like it god damn you Helios you pain in the butt it is why are you standing like that, Nova? That's just freaky. Did come across one slight... I would. I don't know if it's a bug or whether I just can't find it, but where is the Limbo Theorem? Um, the mysterious message for the new Warframes. They are the, the quest keys, if you will. And I can't find them anywhere in the marketplace. Ah, damn you, you it went to start. I have looked everywhere and then everything and I God you son of a found it. I never thought looking under keys. Okay that's just my stupidity there. Okay so it's not here. There is a new quest for actually n I no idea it just there's like it says new quest and that was pretty much it. All it says is it's called patient zero and I'm not sure if it's meant to be in here or whether that's one you'll get from the event. Yes, there is an event. This is, it's a bounty based event. We will do another video covering it in greater detail. That might be up tomorrow because obviously I've got to try and do this and this is one of those weird ones. There is four parts to this. It will run until the 3rd of December and basically you have the first part, which is the Tar Mutalist Moor, one of the new enemies. 
got to find a hundred of them. Then it is the Swarm Mutalist Moa, and they've got to kill a hundred of them. Everyone will give you a reward. So this one, obviously, it's a format. I don't know what's next, hence the reason I'm saying to be more informative, I'm going to try and quickly run through this. Probably going to take up my whole goddamn night, but whatever. It's got to be done. Uh, so after that one, you get something for the Swarm Mutalist Moa after this. Then you have the Brood Mother which you have to kill 50 of, you get a reward for that as well. Then the Boiler, which are four of the five new enemies. And you've got to get 50 of the Boilers as well. And after doing that, you will have access to a special survival mission. Once you get past 30 minutes, you'll be rewarded with a new Puncture mod set. The only one I really want to know is, will that include Arcwing mods? Because you have the primary, secondary, melee... Oh, finally! <laughs> this update right now is about an hour old, by the way. And they finally updated it with that. Because usually when I start these, I'm at the console because it says what the update is. And it's finally been added. If I'd logged out and logged back in, that probably would have been there earlier. And back to this. So yes, um, the survival mission will give you the new puncture mod set that goes with the slash mod set they give with. There's actually four of them, but I cannot remember what they were. No, I think, in all honesty, I think there was three of them. Primary, secondary, melee. One per weapon. But um, I've got to wonder to myself, will it include the melee arcwing and the melee... The melee arcwing and the melee arcwing. That makes no sense. The melee arcwing and... The primary Arcwing weaponry. Will they also get new puncture mods? Control module alert. No, thank you. Mind you, when I logged in here, that you could not see anything on this screen. Well, you still can't. You can see there's... What the hell is that? Mutalist incursion? There. I just noticed this is actually coming up as an alert, as well as coming up on the console here. Up it pops. It's coming up two different times in there. Once at the top, and once as its own little alert thing. In 12 minutes, that one will end. Oh, you... Uh, I think I should do that mission. They have actually changed it so you can now see the fronts of the ships, not the back, for the customised Lissettes. Which is nice, you can still control it. Okay, so, ah, go away text. Um, to get the key for the quest, we did finally find it. You have to start doing the event. We did one of the alerts that pops up, because the alerts are linked into the event. And once you do that, you'll get a message into your inbox with the key, and this is pre-built. The text basically says, you go, there's two courses of action here. First, you're going to have to cleanse the infected, and then... Basically, you're going to have to go take on Alad V and destroy his lab. And hopefully, this will start to give us the parts for the new Warframe. Of course, there is a second v uh, message. This one you will actually get when you start this update. It's like the first thing that happens. And it will autoplay when you start the game. And that was a bit weird. And basically, he's on about New Empire, not of Corpus, not of Grenier, not even of Tenno. An infected empire. Which is weird, because again, the infested are in charge, and created by them. And these are the new guys, the new people you'll end up fighting, the new infested. Don't know what that first one does, the second two are moors, and this one is also a moor. And there's five new enemies, one of them comes out of this one, he actually spits them out at you. And that's why there's only four bounties to take out the four new enemies, because as I say, one of them comes out of the other one. <laughs> it spits them at you. And they're just little things. But once you start it and you get it, it's it's going to be here. you just got to hit the begin to actually start it. We're not going to do that just yet. And of course, there's been another change to the syndicates. This one was talked about a lot in the forums. And I, had just, I never really responded in the forums. I was just kind of... I talked to a few people about it, like in-game and out of the game, 
I was really hoping these items would be tradable, but uh, it seems they're not. And we'll start with Steel Meridian, and it's under Offerings. You can go away now. And it's right there. It's weaponry. The Syndicates now have Syndicate-specific weapons. They have adjusted stats and built-in... It doesn't say what it is. Uh, just something to reflect the Syndicate's nature. So it's either going to be Justice, Truth... Uh, enthrop Enthropy, <laughs> Sequence, Purity, or Blight. And as far as I can tell, that basically goes in line with these. So it would be Justice, Truth, Empathy, Sequence, Purity, and Blight. If, if they've put it in the right order for this. And of course, each one has a different weapon. Oh, God, he looks like Logie. We have the AK Bolt Law for the um, Arbiters here. Cephalon Suda have the new weapon. And this is what I was referring to when I talked about that earlier. This thing popped up in the list of new weapons and the name of it, it didn't exist. There is no secondary that goes by Gamma Core. Well there is, I just didn't know it was one of the new weapons. Because instead of reading the new weapons and reading which ones came in, I just went straight to, oh, the Syndicates have got weapons. God damn it. But the adjusted stats and the the built-in, however they've built that stuff in, obviously it's going to be something that'll help the weapon, probably in weird ways. I don't know, literally it just says each weapon has adjusted stats and built-in either justice, truth, empathy, <laughs> entropy, not empathy, sequence, purity, or blight. But I would think it's just one of those weird ones like I'm with the parent sequence here so I could use their weapon which is the goddamn dual Cestra. Okay yes that can be a good weapon but it's the worst weapon for all of these and I had to go and choose that one. So if I'm using that I would assume it will take out the, the roller platoon and the roller squad much easier. So it's the kind of weapon that will take out the death squads that are sent after you a little bit easier and of course Red Veil have the Ballistica that thing looks really nice the Ballistica skin that is definitely my favorite looking weapon from all of these and New Loka they have one too this one is the Castanis that could be really useful for hive missions if you don't know why that's because what you can do you can take that in and you can stick it on each hive so instead of having to blow them up one hive at a time, you could blow them all up at once. And then try and get out. That actually came in really useful for doing the, the hives when they came in as in the, the event. And how I managed to get up so high a level on that thing. So that could be a really useful weapon. But the way we were doing this is we had... There was three of us. I'm doing these two. Somebody else was doing as a red veil in the Orbitus. I do believe it is. Nope. That's definitely not right. Anyway, it's these two, and then it's Steel Meridian and Red Veil. Vale. So they were with them, so basically all the mods would become available to her. Because we could just get them and then trade amongst ourselves to be able to get the mods that we need, or the mods that we want. We can't do that with the weapons because, from what I can see, the weapons are not tradable. Which, considering everything else in here, apart from the sigils, is tradable. The mods are, de are tradable. The weapons should have been tradable. But they're not. That is a bit of a downside to this. But we'll leave a link in the description below. So you can read the full list of changes and fixes. Because the change list is huge. Uh, two of the Warframe ones that really stood out to me. Of course Frost was one of them. His freeze ability now has an area of effect. Just like uh, Ember's Fireball. And Saren's Molt finally has a timer to it. Because Saren's Molt is just like Logie's decoy. But So when it gets destroyed you don't know it's actually gone yet. And now with the timer you can keep an eye on it much better. And the, there's a hell of a lot of fixes. The list is ridiculous. They literally snuck in with this update. Ooh, prime time number 52. 
41 minutes. This is, that's just an idea of how long I've been recording this for. So, we will get to editing this so we can get it up as quick as possible. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.